cannot start this video. What? Where are Massimo and Alessandro when you need them? I forgot the password now. How can I? Let's try this. So, so what? What was it? Maybe. There was a, a, a I there was a, I, my my own way to remember it. Was it uh, was it bicentric combination? <laughs> was it fragrant? I can't say. Oh, balanced, balanced.
times where at first what she expected. <laughs> so we are pretty glad uh, that you could follow the program easily. <laughs> and I have to say the program was full of many things. Uh, we hope there was time for a friendship and fun. There was also food, maybe, and a bit of competition. And, but we found out that there are also other things that come out of our contestants or being here together. And one of these is art. We are in Florence, which is very famous for its art. And uh, we found out that our contestants are all, also uh, very <coughs> skillful in the artistic yeah. uh, point of view. And in fact, they have uh, done a lot of interesting things. Uh, I will explain to you, uh, and we will also put up some screenshots. Ludo, well, Ludo I, will... I should I should do like the arts challenge, right? Well, but just let me put up the first slides. Oh yeah, sure, if you want. Well, hello. Uh, this was the yeah. first uh, small drawing that we got. About no. inspired by the IDMO. Yes, but uh, do you know who made it? Uh, you made it, I think. N no, no, no. Can you I? You said you made it. No, no, I didn't. I never did. It's 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 not it's not my signature. I remember. It's Zero Calcare. Some people here know Zero Calcare, yeah? Yeah. He's a famous Italian comic book artist, and he made this for Emo. I queued three hours for this. Like, you know, it took some effort. Um, should I take this from here, or...? Well, go on as you want. Thank you. Hello, some of you might have seen me around. I'm the person who's always handing out the Ecmo Gazette. Have you got the Ecmo Gazette from today? Yeah. All of you. Hmm, good. So, I have to confess, I'm not a mathematician. I studied humanities, which is why they put me in the press group you know, to write words and talk to people. And um, I also organized the ECMO Art Challenge. So, do you think why an art challenge in a, mathemat in a mathematics competition? Well, we got this wonderful drawing by Zero Calcare, and we thought we'd ask all the contestants to, do, to be inspired by ECMO as well, and do their own artwork. So, and actually we got some pretty lovely submissions from them. Uh, I want to show to you what these girls can do and, um, and the, the drawings that they made and what they connect to mathematics. We said to them, if you follow our Facebook page and our Instagram account, which you should, you must have seen me post the art challenge. And we asked the girl, we said, do whatever you want. Use any materials you like, use any medium you prefer, just as long as you make sure to include the infinity symbol and a young mathematician like you. And I want to show you now what these girls have made. We've got some really lovely pieces. Um, so here, I'm, this is not a competition. I'm just going to show them in the order I receive them. So we can go with the first one from Spain. It's not from Spain. Oh my God. Um, no, this is actually, sorry, this is from Finland. Uh, this is from Finland, Nerissa made it. It's got a lovely Japanese-inspired style manga art. Um, sorry. <laughs> so this is from Finland, actually. The next, this is from Spain. Yeah, Sarah. Made by Sarah. I didn't notice it at first, but if you look at the t-shirt, you'll see that the picture on it is actually a smaller image of the girl drawing, the, of the same girl drawing the infinity symbol. So, this is a recursive drawing, which I think is pretty smart, you know, pretty clever. Um, and the next one, we got a few from Finland, yes. This was made by Nilia. We've got... We've got, um, who gave us this girl solving a very colourful puzzle, really nice colours. And another from Finland, I think. Great. This is from Essie, which made, she's got a really good pen drawing technique, I think. Look at how the braids, look at how the braids on the girl's head make, compose the infinity symbol. I think that's really interesting. 
And, the, and we got actually a team submission made with a very unusual medium from Germany. Can we hear it from Germany? There it is. They made this, the girls Kelly, Katarina, Anna Gret and Carmen made this with some help. Uh, with, they made it from Luminos Diabolo and they got some help from the Mathematikerin, their team uh, mascot <laughs> over there. Okay, and our last submission is from Peru. Yes. It's a beautiful pencil sketch by Alexa. I really, I especially like the determined expression on the face of this girl. You can't mess with her, yeah? <laughs> so, some of you might think, oh, I wish I'd made something for the art challenge. I didn't even know there was an art challenge. I should have read the Egg Magazette. <laughs> well, if you still want to send us your Egmo inspired artwork, we remain available. You can reach us by email or on social media. And we'd love to see your work. If you want to send it, we'll have a look at your submissions and post them on the Egmo 2018 blog. Thanks again to the artists for their work. Thanks to you all. And I think Giovanni has some words to hand out, yeah? Yeah. We're now arriving in the most important part of the competition and on the, on the closing ceremony, the award giving. Actually, these are not the awards you're think, thinking of. Uh, these are the card awards. Like, during the competition, you had five cards to call for help or made requests or questions and we are awarding the girls who distinguish themselves in the ability to use these cars many and many times. <laughs> so, the first golden car does the prize is for the most paper used. and paper sheets to write her solutions.
Now I am reading the ministry, uh, the, the message of Minister Valeria Fedeli. President Ciliberto, dear girls, dear all. These days, Florence is the setting of an important event, the seventh edition of the European Girls Mathematical Olympiad. This is a math competition meant for female students, which was held for the first time in 2012 in Cambridge, United Kingdom. On that occasion, 19 nations and 70 competitors participated. This year, our country has the honor of hosting it. The Ministry of Education, University and Research and the Italian Mathematical Union have collaborated for the organization of a record edition. 51 nations and 195 competitors. I would like to thank all of those who have worked for the success of this uh, Olympiad and uh, congratulate the young girls who represent our country in this competition. Giorgia Benassi, Maria Benilacqua, Sabrina Botticchio, Maria Chiara Ricciuti, Linda Friso. Give it your best and have fun. Unfortunately, institutional commitments didn't allow me to be there with you, but I wish to send you a message of support and gratitude. The European Girls Maths Olympiad have a twofold merit. On one hand, it gathers the excellences of the education system from different European and not non-European countries. On the other hand, it stimulates girls' interest in mathematics and scientific subjects, <coughs> thus allowing them to overcome a gender gap, which is still a burden for the development of our, our society. This competition helps to dig to the roots of bias and stereotypes that are the result of a male culture which for centuries has driven women away from scientific knowledge because it was considered not within their reach. It shows that there is nothing that a girl is able to do if she studies and is committed. As Ministry of Education, University and Research, we have been carried out for years activities like this Olympiad, aiming to give confidence to our young girls to create awareness about their rights and their capacities. On the occasion of 8th March, we renewed our appointment 
with the STEM month, supporting our, by our ministry to encourage schools of all levels to promote STEM subjects, also among the girls, and spread the passion for scientific and technology subjects. We have also launched the competition announcement entitled STEM Feminine Plural, which aims to encourage the presence of women in STEM subjects and to help overcome prejudice and general stereotypes regarding the scientific field. I am convinced that the time has come to fight with determination against these stereotypes. It is fundamental for the future of our young women, for the future of our entire country. Dear girls, be aware that what you are doing today, participating in this competition, is a revolutionary act. But it is thanks to your commitment and your passion that we can carry on together a cultural shift that is now unavoidable. Accept yourselves and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you very much to our ministry delegate, Anna Bancaccio. If you were by chance at the opening ceremony, maybe you already know that um, this competition uh, is mainly due to the uh, financial support of the ministry, and we are very grateful that we could collaborate to organize it. Then, uh, I would like to uh, call to the stage director of the University of Firenze, Professor Luigi Dei, who will talk to us. Thank you, Mr. The President, dear students, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, and let me first of all give the best greetings and wishes by the University of Florence to this end ceremony of the European Girls Mathematical Olympiad. You participated to a very important competition that is aimed to stimulate passion and curiosity for mathematics to girls according to the scope of contrast the historical and traditional gender gap for such a discipline. It's not easy to illustrate in schools and universities the beauty of mathematics in order to make understanding that mathematics is not an arid subject. If we succeeded in achieving this goal, I believe more girls would be fascinated by maths, algebra, geometry, and so on. Some months ago, I tried to illustrate this beauty with a little poem that I would like to share with you on the occasion of the awards the jury is going to deliver. It's entitled Praise to mathematics. If you admire a wonderful statue, the very proportions make you to feel a skip heartbeat. If you remain fascinated by the perspective of a Renaissance palace, the very relationships stand you. If you listen to the harmonious and exciting music, the very frequencies and durations expressed by simple fractions produce on you dopamine release. If you read and transit and the casillabi in Italian poems, please thank that number 11 
if you look up to the sky and discover the magnificent surfaces by Calatrava, the very integrals bring back them to a known dimension. If you remain without any words in front of the splendor of some shapes of nature, please thank fractals. And lastly, if you see an old woman or a man who despairs, weeps and complains to have lost the perception of the marvels of the world, you must know that they are not blind or deaf, simply they have forgot the beauty of number and mathematics. Recalling the beauty of number and mathematics, I would like to conclude my greeting speech expressing my deep and sincere wishes to all the participants and the warmest congratulations to the winners. Thank you for your attention and please enjoy also the next weekend with the cultural heritage beauties of our city, remembering that behind our monuments, including the Brunelleschi's dome, there is a great plenty of mathematics. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Jay. And our next speaker, uh, which I want to call to the stage, is Professor Barbara Anelli, who will talk to us as a member of the Scientific Commission of the Italian Mathematical Union and a member of the group that is focused on uh, the gender gap and the equal opportunities for men and women. So, Barbara. Uh, thank you very much. I want to say that I am here also to represent myself as one of the women of the gallery of portraits that you had the opportunity of seeing in the hotel during this week. So it's uh, and this is a nice um, a nice uh, show that uh, that is going around all over the world and it's very um, good for young women to see something like that in my opinion. Um, so uh, this is a wonderful event. So um, and it is uh, wonderful, I believe, because it's very well organized. So thanks to the organizers, the sponsor, and the supporter of this. But I believe that it is, it is especially wonderful because of the presence of you girls here. Because um, it is very important for uh, the future of women in mathematics that um, many um, brilliant and young girls as you are, are aware of the fact that mathematics and science in general is waiting for you and needs you and this is so this can be the first step of uh, a brilliant career in uh, mathematics in science and uh, especially uh, there is um, still um, uh, we miss very much uh, young women in general in the apical role in scientific institution so I believe that you, uh, you are in good shape to reach every position you want and I, I wish you that if you want, of course. So good luck. Thank you, Barbara. And as Italy has also uh, owes its fame to the beauty of its music in the centuries. We now wanted to offer you a small piece of classical uh, music of the 15th century, which is uh, a period where Florence was maybe at its most it will be maybe a serious moment, but we would like to uh, introduce this group, that which will of course be uh, a representative of the music of Florence in all its beauty.
Ladies and gentlemen, and now Bach.
I hope you like the <laughs> guys. You always put everything everywhere. Please, please. I want everything in order in one minute. data, as most of you probably already know, there were 15 countries participating in this uh, edition of the ECMO. Well, 36 of them were European countries, or maybe 35 of them were European countries, and 16 were non-European countries. And we enjoyed a lot having everybody here. I personally I'm very glad to have been all of you, uh, with all of you in our competition. Well, in total we had 195 participants to the contest and we had a number 45 of honorable matches that are attributed for solving completely at least one exercise. People who got the honorable mention, please stand up. So that the media already your image we will then pass to award the bronze medals so if our slides see I will call to the stage Anna Meta Dolina and Giorgio Benassi if it, uh, I must say I try to practice pronunciations of all these words, but I'm sorry. I, I, I think I really can't pronounce them properly. Anyway, I try my best. So, uh, if you let me the line, all you see here, Veronica, one of our former medal winners, to award them the bronze medal. And if they ever come to the stage,
som Slovinia, Mongolia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Italy and France. And then I go to the stage Yin uh, Shi Liang from Canada and uh, Maria Chiara Ricciuti from Italy, Azureka Kilizoglu from Turkey, uh, Yanda Wang from France, Maya from Italy, and Urshita Pal from India, Miriam Lorenzo Garuno from Spain, Mika Topic from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Nusul Vaite Bar from Mongolia, Vise Van Diepen from Netherlands, and Jera Elia Jukevicute from Lithuania.
We pass to our next group of bronze medals, who is a student of Magdalena Mishinova of Czech Republic, uh, Deborah Yamato of Brazil, Mariana Oliveira of Brazil, Melissa Queen of the United Kingdom, Anna Lubaska of Norway, Asher Kalayeva of Kazakhstan, and Nevena Matidic of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Andrew Kevin of the Netherlands. I This time is Morena Borgia.
last group of bronze medal winners, uh, which begins with Anel Toxis of Hungary, Erin Mignoli of Greece, Kelly Wilson of Germany, Anna Paula Intercuchea of Ecuador, Mary Peters of Belgium, Irem Nur Seviska of Turkey, Irina Dankovic of Serbia, Bresaya Amazaya of Mongolia, Milena Banko of Hungary, and Veronika Scheiter of Austria. And I invite back to the stage Veronika to work with the medals. And I hope the medals will arrive this time.
Ladies and gentlemen, and now Rosine. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. 
for simple methods. It uh, begins with Grace and Play of Australia, Ibi Yukovic of Israel, and Alaska Sami Pavelu of Canada, Jude Saleh of Saudi Arabia, Amina Abdushana of Romania, Veronica Lorenzi of Poland, Gladys Alexa Salazar of Peru, Otilia Don of Moldova, Lenka Kokova of Czech Republic, and Mariana Groff of Brazil.
Marcela Cruz Larios of Mexico, Violeta Alcén Martínez Escamilla from Mexico, Alexandra Novik from Belarus, Tamara Ponyovich of Serbia, Anna Kelikesh of Hungary, Osoya Lijans of Hungary, and Alina Kuliskaya of Belarus. And I invite you to present the medals
Lisa, Alexandra Kowalska of Poland, and Isabella Tolokno of Russia. And I would like to invite the stage for the medal speak in Van Halen, president of the advisory board of ECMO.
it looks like something is wrong. I think I'd better leave before it's too late.
I'm glad to pass the honor of organizing this uh, competition to next year's country. Do you know which country it is? How did you guess? The most careful of you could have understood the hint between, uh, which was given with the colors of the cards. I hope you recognize the Italian flag and the Ukraine flag. So I'd like to invite the Italian team and the Ukraine team on the stage to formally pass the honor of organization of next year's European Girls Mathematical Olympia. Symbolically, give the ECMO flag to the. <laughs> or some version, some. Uh, some homotopous version, homotopic version of the ECMO flag. wonderful event and we are happy to announce that next year ECMO will take place in the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv, from April 7th till April 13th. Uh, we are so excited to, about the opportunity to share the beauty of our country with you next year. And now, just to start with, let our country speak from itself. Ukraine. 
Now, since we are heading towards the end of this ceremony, I must say that this has been an awesome week for me, full of many things, with maybe the exception of sleep. <laughs> I would like to thank many people. I, I, theoretically, I would like to thank everybody who worked for this, and there are many people. But this is either impossible or very tedious for you. <laughs> That's why I will call on the stage just a few of them representing all the whole organization. And I hope that everybody will be represented on the stage. So, first of all, let me call Francesco Morandin and Silvia Galfre. For all the week, but not only that, they organized guides and they take took care of all the this, of, that the teams were assisted properly. Then I would like to call the stage chief invigilator Marina Gisi. And the chief of the group of the recreational room, Alessandro Yashi, also called the chapter. He's just resolving a 6x6x6 six by six by six cube now. So he'll just arrive in a minute. And next I would like to call the stage Francesca Rizzo of the group who organized the opening and closing ceremony. <laughs> With, in fact, that, uh, that, uh, yeah, and Luigi Amedeo Bianchi of the Express Group. Our jury chair, Roberto Dvarnicic. <laughs> who has gone to so many IMOs that nobody can still take account. <laughs> <laughs> and our chief coordinator, Alessandro Galacen. the chief coordinator, but also the art designer and many other things in this edition of the European Girls of Bank of India. I have to say that this edition would be, maybe could be organized without her, but would be uh, definitely a lot uglier. <laughs> And Massimo Gubino, the head of the Global Selection Committee. And so we now, they are just in a line, and we now want to award them a symbolic prize, a bag of. Uh, Sweets from Florence, please make a roll and receive your your prize. Uh, Morena, please. Don't. Anyway, these are other 70 people at least were the heart of the organization and I am 
deeply indebted with that one, and maybe you are also indebted to them since uh, this edition was made by them. And so I would like to, you to make an applause to all the people of the organization. discuss this later. <laughs> anyway, this is not, uh, this is the formal end of this competition, but you know that we will have a party tonight, so I hope you will enjoy that as well. Uh, we will now all uh, move to the place where the uh, formal final dinner will take place. Uh, but before that, I have to uh, cite the briefness of Birgit and tell you that the 2018 European Girls Mathematical Olympia is closed. 